Okay, so now in this case, okay, uh, for DNA sequencing, as I said, that okay, we want to determine the sequence of the nucleotide base, okay, because we want to know the sequence, okay. Uh, so what is the method that we use here? The method we use highlight here, we use the chain terminations method, okay? It's a modified PCR. In this case, we use the modifications of the PCR method to do this, okay? It's a chain terminations method. Now, what's mean chain termination method? So recall back our PCR, right? Or uh, recall back our PCR. So in PCR, in the tube, what we add it? In the tube, we add in the template. Okay, the DNA template that we want to amplify is the same thing, okay? DNA template. And then number two, we add in the primer for the annealing. And then number three, we add in the tag polymerase. Okay, it's the enzyme that helps us to elongate. And number four, we add in the DNTP. Cannot, okay? We add A nucleotide. T nucleotide, C nucleotide, and G nucleotide. Okay? Activated nucleotide with three phosphate groups. So same. Okay. So in this DNA sequencing, the, the, the single method, okay, a single okay, sequencing or the chain termination method, what we're going to do here, we add in a special nucleotide. This special nucleotide is number item number five. Okay. It's called DD, double, double D, NTP. Okay. But, but, what we're going to do here is we don't add O, like ATCG together. What we're going to do here is once we have prepared the mixture here already, we divide them into four tubes. Tube one, tube two, tube three, tube four. And we label them ATCG. Okay, we label four tubes. So these four tubes, all of them will have the common one, DNA template. They will have the primal. They have the tag polymerase and or ATCG. But to each tube, we add in a special nucleotide here called DD ATP. Okay, this tube we add in DD TTP. This tube we add in DD CTP. And this one we add in DD GTP. So mean each tube will have this special nucleotide. So what is the role? You need to know what is the role of this special nucleotide. Okay, so this special nucleotide is termed as deoxy, a dideoxy nucleotide triphosphate or nucleoside triphosphate. So if you look at the diagram here, when you look at the diagram here, you will realize that normal nucleotide with three phosphate group and the deoxyribose. The carbon number three, this carbon number one, can you see that? Carbon number two, carbon number three, and the carbon number three here is OH. Okay, it's OH. I think I'll show you what is the important about this OH group. And here for dideoxy, dideoxy here you can see that basically at carbon number one, carbon number two, carbon number three, the OH is replaced by H. The hydroxyl group OH is replaced by H. And this nucleotide is very important because without the OH group here, the chain elongation will stop. Chain elongation will stop. So means that you're going to create many, many fragments later. So the functions highlight this case because lack of this OH group at carbon number three, therefore it can help us to terminate the DNA strand elongation during the PCR times. Okay, later I will do the, dem uh, the demo and then you'll be able to see. Okay, so this chain terminations are... Uh, sorry, the chain terminating nucleotide lack of three prime OH group, therefore it will uh, terminate the elongations. And these nucleotides, the phosphate group here, again, okay, the P actually is radioactively labeled so that we can do the detection later by exposing it to the uh, by exposing it to the X-ray film, or it can carry the color dye. A fluorescent dye, then we can use a UV to see the positions of the band later okay now let me show you what is the difference between the deoxy nucleotide and compared to the di deoxy nucleotide okay diamine two okay i'm going to show you the ribose so you look at the ribose at carbon number two here is oh group 
here OH group. So, okay. But if you look at deoxyribose, where we use it in DNA, okay, so here will be H, here is OH. Okay, so dideoxyribose. mean two, remove two O. So can you see that here one O we remove already? That's why lack of one O. So now we remove another O. So that's why it's termed di deoxy, D mean remove. So here H, here H. Are you clear? Can you see that the three different kinds of the pentose sugar here, ribose, deoxyribose, and di deoxyribose. So basically, if you realize that the OH here, the O, remove already. Can you see that? So under normal conditions, okay, under normal conditions, if you look at the nucleotides here, so with okay, nitrogenous base, here will be H, here OH, and then three phosphate group, right? Okay, so let's say this, this one is all normal. Okay, now next. What will happen here is the reaction actually take place in this way. Reaction take place. Huh? So if I give them, okay, this is another reoxidize, uh, deoxyribose. Okay, now phosphate group. So how phosphate group actually look like? Phosphate group actually will be this P, double bond O, OH, OH. So between these two OH, can you see that? Alcohol donate H, acid donate OH. So you go and form the bond. Can you see that? I use the green colors, right? Can you see that? So reaction take place, that's why chain elongation actually can take place. Can you see that? The chain elongation can take place. Due to what? Due to the presence of the OH group at the three prime end. So what will happen next? If let's say I use this, dideoxyribose. Okay, so this is our DNA strands. So we add the dideoxyribose, which is special nucleotide. Okay, yeah. so here's H. So if I get in another nucleotide, Nucleotide here and another nucleotide. So P, OH, double bond O, OH. So you can see that what actually happened here is H and OH is no longer OH and OH. So no reaction take place. So mean your chain will stop here. Can I continue? I cannot continue anymore. So the chain terminated at that particular special nucleotide. So this nucleotide is DD, let's say for example, it's A, then DD is here A, so DD, A, D, B. So it means that it depends on the tag polymerase. If a tag polymerase adds this special nucleotide, which is a DD, A, and D, B, then the reaction will stop. Are you clear? Lack of OH. Can you see the lack of OH? H and OH, no reaction. But OH and OH, yes, reaction take place. Condensation process take place. Then chain elongation take place, okay? So what is the role of these dideoxynucleotides? Dideoxynucleotide will act as the uh, chain terminating nucleotide. It depends on the tag polymerase, what to add is by random process. Always remember by random process. So in this, our tube here, okay, come back to our notes. Okay, so, Come in your notes means that when the PCR process takes place, recall back the PCR process, the first process denaturation. No problem, we denature the template DNA. Number two, annealing. But this time, an annealing, we will only give one primer instead of one pair of primer. We only use one primer. I will show you later. Okay. And number three, then elongation. So in this elongation, tag polymerase will start to add 
the nucleotide, right? Correct not? Add one by one. So when in the tube A, what will happen in the tube A, they have two types of nucleotide they can add. They can add the normal nucleotide, DNTP, or they may add in this DDATP. So if they add normal ATP, then they will continue to elongate. But if add a special A, then what will happen here is, yep, the chain will be terminated. So the concentrations of this is very important. It must be low. Concentrations of the this special nucleotide must be low because if the high concentrations basically higher chance to attach, then everything stop. We don't want. We want to create multiple copies. Okay. So I will show you the process later. So uh, at this moment, you may be confused. It's okay, okay, because I'm going to show you. So to each reaction tube, then we only add in one of these four kind of DD and TP. And after we have done the process, we create a multiple fragments already. Now we don't use agarose gel. Agarose gel only for large fragments. Are you clear? Agarose gel is only for large fragments means that they differ not by one or two nucleotide. If they differ by one or two nucleotide, then we have to use the higher resolution gels called polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis, or we call PAGE. Are you clear? Polyacrylamide, because later the fragment, I'll show you later the fragments, it will differ by one nucleotide only. Okay, if by one nucleotide only. So it means that if you use an agarose gel, you won't be able to separate them but polyacrylamide gels with high resolutions, then we will be able to separate even though they differ by one nucleotide, okay? So as I said that the special nucleotides can tag along, uh, tag together with the uh, radio isotope. So it means that we can use the auto radiography, expose it to the X-ray films, okay? Uh? So I'm going to show you guys now, uh, pause the recording first. Okay, now, just now I said that you have the DNA template. Can I see that? Okay, then you have this. Can I see the orange color? Not orange, but a bit down orange color here. So these are the normal nucleotide we add in. We have four nucleotides. We add in one primal rather than a, a pair of primal. And then another one, I didn't show it here, is the tech polymerase. So I divide them into four tubes. Can I see that I divide them into four tubes? So I have tube A, tube T, tube C, and tube G. Can I see that? So let's say the top sequence is the one that I want to, to sequence out. So I want to know T, T, C, G, T, A, C, G, G, C. This is the genes and the sequence that I want to sequence out. Are you clear? So what actually happened here is, let's say we started with the tube A. What will happen inside tube A? So first process, we put in PCR. We put in PCR. Okay, and that next thing, what we're going to do here is we increase the temperature to 95 degrees Celsius. So denaturations take place. Okay, denaturation take place. And we lower down to 65 degrees Celsius. We, then primal can anneal. Can I see that? Primal anneal. Another one, you leave it there. Just like swimming, do nothing. Are you clear? Now, tech polymers now start to add. Okay, we increase to 72 degrees Celsius, tag polymers start to add. So what they add? They add the nucleotide. So the first thing here, what they add? They add the nucleotide A. But now they have the choice. Can you see that? We have two different A here. We have the normal A and special A. But always remember, if the tag polymers add the normal A, the chain will continue normally. Okay, elongates as usual. But if add in this special nucleotide, the green color tag with the radioactive, the chain will stop. Elongate. So let's say, unfortunately, the tag polymerase add in this. A. What will happen here is the chain now terminated. It cannot elongate anymore because lack of the three primes OH. Okay, lack of three prime OH. So it means that this will become one fragment when a denaturation takes place. When denaturation, the second cycle, right? Denaturation. What will happen here is this become a fragment, and we cannot amplify anymore because we don't have primer for this. But when you reduce the temperature to sixty-five degrees Celsius, now primer can attach again. Can I see that? Primer can attach again. Okay. So tag polymers start to add. 
So let's say this time they add in the normal nucleotide A. But when come to the second time, oh, unfortunately, add in the, nor, eh, the special A. So again, chain terminated. So we create the second fragment with different length. Can you see that? I have a second fragment here. So elongate stop ready. Doesn't matter. Then we wait the third cycle. Let's say the third cycle now. Okay, denaturation already. So this one floating and annealing process take place. Okay, so you're going to add, okay, normal A. Norm, okay, sorry, normal A, normal A. Uh, G, nothing. G is, well, I have no choice. Only one choice. C also, then I add in the A. But this time, if let's say they add in the special A. Then again, can you see that when denaturation takes place, I create the third types of fragments. So all of them with different length. Can you see that? Are you clear? All of them with different length. So now, what will happen next? Look at this, sir. Uh. Wait down, guys. So you now the last one. Okay, so last one side. Okay, so I add in normal. It says it normal, normal. Okay, G doesn't matter. C because we have no choice. A with normal. T will be normal. G will be normal. C will be normal. C and G. I get the full length. This doesn't matter because all of the nucleotide here. I have this long fragment. This is the last fragment that I created in this tube. Can I see that? All of them will end with A. A. But how about this? This one, we don't care. Can you realize that this one, without a special nucleotide, if without special nucleotides later, can we detect them? We won't be able to detect them. Doesn't matter because this one, this fragment does not end with A. That's that. So in tube A, I'm going to, because of PCR technique, right? So random process, I'm going to get these three fragments now. Three different fragments. And each fragment actually cannot see that it differs by one nucleotide only. I cannot use agarose gel because agarose gel it will be, uh, the resolution is too low to separate these two. So at the end, you may see all of them actually grouped together. So same process take place in the tube T. Denaturation process take place. Can I see that? The same primer going to attach and elongate, elongation process. So A, oh, T I should go here. Okay, so A, no problem. I can always add A, add A, no choice, G, no other choice, C, A, and come to this, the tech polymers may add the special T. Can you see that? Add a special T, then chain elongation actually stops. So it creates the, the first fragment now, the first kind of fragment. Can you see that? So if let's say the second round, the T here is the normal T. It doesn't matter. If the normal T here doesn't matter, then it continue. G, C, C, G. Okay. Now, if you look at this, they are normal nucleotide without any radioactive. So this fragment at the end, we won't care. Okay, this fragment actually I can delete it because I won't be able to see them at all. This fragment because they do not carry radio isotope. Okay, so in this process in T, tube T, I only will have one fragment. It's actually two fragments, two fragments, but only the first fragment can be detected because it carry this special nucleotide which tag with radio isotopes. Okay, so done for A and T. Now we look at C, the same process. Okay, I'm going to faster the process. So primal A, A, so in this tube C, whenever it comes to C, it may create the fragment. Okay, so C, so this first fragment, Okay, this will be the first fragment, T. T A G C. So then normal. But when come to the C, is the special C. So the first fragment here. Okay, second fragment, you come to C again, it will create a second fragment.
Can I see that? And it comes to the third fragment. So I have three fragments here. Okay, three fragments. Okay, so the last fragment is will continue. It doesn't matter because again, we won't be able to see the final fragments. And the geography process, you won't be able to see it because they don't carry any radioisotope. Okay, so now we come to G. So same thing, it will end at G. Okay, so the first fragment. Okay, the first fragments. So this is my primal, then this will be normal nucleotides. But when it comes to the G, as I say that we have two choices, but it depends, okay? So we stop. If we take in the special G or DD, GDP here, it will stop. And the last one here, we get the fragments. Can you see that? Sorry, I think a bit of time here. Show you what happened. And then G. Now, it, this one's slightly different, guys. You can see that eh, this one also full line. Can we detect it? This one's a full line, right? Until the end. But we can detect it because they have the G. So other tubes, you won't detect it. You can see that? Because they don't have a special G, special A at the end. So it means that you won't be able to see them. It, they, they are there. They are there. But because uh, they don't carry radioisotope, you won't be able to detect it later when exposed to the X-ray filaments. Okay? So what I'm going to do here is I, I will work in a very simple way. So ignore the primal. Do you realize that this fragment is the shortest one? So only the one nucleotide here. This, okay, oh, sorry. Only one nucleotide. This one with two nucleotides. And this one, the length is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I've given the unit five arbitrary units. This one, one, two, three, four, five, six. So six arbitrary units. Okay, cool. Then you realize, hey, this one's four arbitrary units. This one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight arbitrary units. And this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine arbitrary units. Okay, the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Okay, so now I have the fragment. You realize that all fragments that created in this process in each different tube, they have different length. Is it I miss out one? I miss out one. Let me check. G, I have two, correct? T, I should have. It should be G. Okay, wait. Huh? Sorry, this one A, A, A. Okay, correct. This one I should have one T only, correct? This G. My mistake. This is G mutation take place. So I missed out one. Okay, it doesn't matter. Now file. This should be G. Okay, special G. Okay, the rest, uh, they're my okay? So this one, three. Okay, so can you see that the fragments here, length? Okay, with one, two arbitrary unit length, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Are you clear? Okay, so what we're going to have here is, okay, what we're going to have here is, Look at this. If I load the sample from tube one into the well A, I because the shortest fragments will move faster, correct not? Longer fragment will be will move slower. So at the end, I'm going to create the band. Okay. So first one. And at the position number two, I have another band. And at five arbitrary units, I have another one. So the marker, okay? The, the one, two, three, four, five, here's a marker for A, that. 
T, I will have another band at six. Can I see that? And then how about uh, C, four, eight, and nine, it's okay. I have one band at four, one band at eight, and one band at nine. G, I have one band at 10, one band at seven, and one band at three. So how we analyze the result now? How we analyze the result? So if you look at these guys, so we have done the process of the gelatophoresis already. We're exposed to the X-ray film. I have the band. So what we'll do here is we read it from bottom up. If you read it from bottom up, what you're going to get here. So first, I get A. Second, I get A. This one is terminated at G. And then come here, C. And then continue with A. Then continue with T. Oh, sorry, continue with T and then G, C, C, G. So what we sequence, what we have here is the complementary strands. What we have here is a complementary strands. So we can actually use a software or very simple, you can write down for the, the strands that I want to analyze. G, G, C. So you yeah, copy this and then you look at the template. Can you see that? Can you compare now? This is how we can actually sequence out the DNA by using these chain termination techniques. So what you need to know here is for chain termination techniques, okay, it's still a PCR and the gel electrophoresis both together. But special thing here is to each tube, we add in a special nucleotide. And we add in a special nucleotide. So this special nucleotide is termed as DDNTP. To each tube, we only add in one. Whenever the tag polymers add this special nucleotide, we are going to get the chain to be terminated. So it creates fragments. So this fragment can be analyzed by the gel. And this gel is termed as okay, polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis. So the question here is, can I mix all them together? If you want mix all of them together, yes, I will get all together, but in one tube. So if in one tube, basically I won't be able to read, correct or not? I still can, I still can uh, make it many, many fragments, but I won't be able to read it there. Are you clear? But now I can read it. How to read it? From the bottom up. Why bottom up? Because the shortest fragments always move further, longer fragments will be, tends to move slower so by using this technique i will be able i will be able to actually sequence out the, the dna now so this is all technique so now we have a, a, a more advanced technique more advanced technique in this case we do not need to separate atcg is what and also we use a computer uh, uh what we call this uh software to analyze for us because in this case short a uh, short DNA sequence we can do is manually. You try to imagine that thousand of the nucleotide, how are we going to read it? Right? Thousand of them. The gel must be very, very long right, to separate. So what we're going to do here is in the modification, we're going to modify two things. First, this DDNTP no longer. DDNTP, we don't use the radioactive, but we tag it with different fluorescent color. Okay? DDNTP. So what we're going to do here is same thing. Now look at this, huh, guys. So we have the same template, but instead of separate them into four tubes, we only use one tube. So I will have the normal ATCG, and I also have the special ATCG, but different color. Let's say, for example, the first one is green, the second one, I uh, give them blue color, okay? Third one, I give them, let's say, for example, red, and the last one, let's say, I uh, give them yellow. So, means that in one tube, you create multiple fragments as well, but each fragment will have their own color. Correct not? Let's say, this is my primal, A, T, A, G, C, and I add a special A here. So, a special A will give us the green color. So, this one fragment. 
Can I see that? So if I continue, let's say I create a second fragment. Huh? Okay. So this is a normal one. And A again. So, but every time we end A, it will be green color fluorescent. Can you see that? Green color fluorescent. So, continue if let's say, uh, continue. So, in one tube, it doesn't matter, but we come to G, then it will be, it will give us the yellow, I'm uh, sorry, uh, yellow color. What yellow color I use? Okay. Can you see that? It creates multiple fragments as well, but they end with different color. So what I'm going to do here is, instead of using the normal polyacromite gel electrophoresis, we use the capillary. Okay, we use a capillary gel electrophoresis. We subject the fragment go through this uh, capillary. So in the capillary, again, uh, short fragment will move first, fast and first. And then you can see that when we expose them to the laser beam, it gives us a color. So this color or fluorescent color will be detected. And then computer system, computer um, uh, software can help us to analyze it. So this automated sequencer, faster, definitely. And also uh, it can help us to sequence out longer genes. Are you clear? Okay. Yeah. So come back to uh, stop sharing here. So what I have taught through just now, I simply give uh, the, the sequence and we do a sequencing. So this is uh, summarized. In this table, you can see that that's again okay, in this table. Oh, something happened. Share screen got problem. <laughs> 